Well done, Beth. What? That is so mean. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Let's try and fix them. Uh, I probably can't, but we'll see. Repair it. Of course. That would have got him mad. Enter. What's this? Oh, uh, what? Wait, what? Wait, I want to go against them. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside sure. of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? Deal. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. I like this. this Summoner's was Court would be fun. The ever-changing game. You first, or is it me? <laughs> Yes. Nothing to it. Akio. Ha, gotcha. That was one for the ages. Akio. Bounce. Oh, try to beat that. Uh, let's go right. Right here. Yeah, that one. Nope. Akio. There uh, we go. Lucky <laughs> shot. Up here.
all in the wrist. I won no matter what. Oh, what? Right here. Oh, I see what you did there. Right there. Accurate. I I'll still want have that one. Well done. You beat me. Yeah. Summoner's Court winner. Bit of good luck, that's all. True. That wasn't luck. That was skill. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Wow, that's slow. You're clearly not cut for this. Wow, that was really low of the team. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. High five. Rematch. Just for, for practice. Ah. To make him feel good. So that was the quest then. Quest. All. Let's go for that one. Okay. I forgot about the mouse thing. Track quest. Was he following me? Rematch.
Urge defending Hogsmeade against Trill. To take care of everything I had asked you to do. What'd you ask? Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then oh. you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Ooh. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Incendium! Accio! Levioso! Expelliarmus! Still at it, I see. Incendium! Accio! Expelliarmus! Levioso! Incendio! Accio! 
Let me also. Expel the armor. Accio. Incendio. Let me also. Expand the office. Scrope knows about the book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. rocks. Take care. Tell no one about this. Scrope? Who is Scrope? I thought that would have been the little guy that looks like Doby.
Let me also. Send you. Akio. Let me also. On another adventure, are we? Found it. Akio. <clears throat> okay. No. Really? <laughs> oh, okay. That works too. Almost there. Had the head for the pumpkins. Just down the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You may be able to help Poor, broken-hearted scope. Pumpkins? Ah, I think I know just the place. Rebellion. One night, one might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sor sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut. 
as large as the occupant may need. Revelio. Young the young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge? Hmm, this had better not be a trick. <laughs> This looks intriguing. It was right. It was him. <clears throat> Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help. But no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. 
Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. Oh my gosh. Let's play it. What the heck? Hey, where'd it go? How do I heal? How do I heal? Okay. Send you. What? I got his tongue? That was cute. The name. I was trying to figure the name out for the octopus. Isn't it the Kraken? No secret way to get there. Just through here. I guess so. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Could Somebody hide out. Oh, a visitor. <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, Perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How was it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Where did you suggest we meet? Near the Forbidden Forest. Easy enough to find from the castle. Look for a foreboding tangle of thick black trees. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now.
Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Oh no, I was looking at the scenery.
going to regret this I could take them all. Oh, what's that? Get him. Maybe I was wrong. What was that? More money. Okay. There you are. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we?
Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. I guess there I could see there being some monsters in the way. Out of the blue. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is. Oh. Just as Jackdaw described. What are we looking for? for the password. According to Jack, the cave is not too far inside the Forbidden Forest. He said I should look for a stone bird bath. When I find it, I am to speak the password. Intramuros. What was the other one? Loading candles. There's the bird bath. Intramuros. Mm -hmm. 
Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Attack! Expelliarmus. I forgot well, about the shield. list will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doors led me. I wonder how big this place is. <laughs> 